all right so let's begin with our first test um, the test scenario here is to fill the form details okay so let me open the app so in the last lecture I have clearly shown on how to get this app and install it in your emulator now so we are on the page one here we need to fill the form so what is your name you can say Rahul and if you want to select the country if you want to for example if you want to select Antarctica you can select that by scrolling okay so keep an eye on this we need to scroll to find out that specific country it's not in the visible mode all right what else so after I enter Rahul somehow I am getting this keyboard on the top I want to hide that keyboard okay so that I can continue by default mail option is selected let's say you want to select female and then you need to click on this let's shop button so that you will complete the filling the form okay now when whenever they say verify toast error messages what is this now let me remove this name and try to click on this let's shop I'm getting this error message here okay it just blinks and go away please enter your name so you should not give any edit box field and then when you click on this button you have to verify if this toast error message is displaying or not okay one positive test is to fill the form and continue to the next page and negative scenario here is to fill the form partially and then validate this toast error message okay so that's our agenda um, let me quickly go to the Eclipse and start building the test for this so I'll create new class here and the app name whatever we are dealing is the e-commerce app right so the test case names when we are creating let's start with e-commerce keyword so that it would be consistent and we can remember that we are dealing with this specific app test case one okay so we can say that this is our test case number one and click on finish perfect that creates a class and here you know that we can directly use capabilities what we are using from our previous lectures so let me go to any test and take this keyword Pub okay public static void main can be defined directly by Eclipse but we did not check that checkbox that's the reason we are not seeing that public static void main here so you can just get it or create your test again for that okay and you also can simply copy these two steps okay so now capabilities let's go to this capabilities method and see the what all changes we need to do if you want to run this in another app till the last section we have targeted API demos app right but now we are in e-commerce so you have to make the changes accordingly move your cursor right now it's saying create method capabilities because you need to extend your base class in our base class we have declared that um, capabilities method so if you extend it then the error will go away but here we are now not dealing with API demos okay now we are working with this app text commerce app all right um, actually did not copy the app here this is some rough work so let me get that app whatever we have downloaded um, in our previous lecture and I'll paste it here so that I can access directly into my test okay 
Okay, so I just copy pasted the app uh, in my work directory. You can place it here or you can just copy and paste it in your Eclipse as well. Okay, so you can just refresh as I have put that in that specific location where this project is lying. Okay, I just did right click properties, user Rahul APM space tutorial and I just pasted it here. So if you refresh it, yeah, you see that you have an app here. Perfect. Now, um, let me close, save. Okay. Now in capabilities method, now we need to go to this general store app, not API demos. So let's copy that name carefully and place it here. So in framework lectures, I will explain you how to generalize this. In real time, you might work with multiple apps, right? So from test case itself, we will decide which app we need to execute and we will not hard code like this. Okay. So once we move into framework section, you will see more cleaner code. Now try to understand whole APM concept in these sections. Once you are familiar with APM, then let's go and build a framework and make it more robust and optimized. Okay. Perfect. So I am actually having emulator called emulator hyphen triple five four and make sure you have this UI automator to capability name as your automation name. That's mandatory because from Android six, whatever app you are using, if you do not put this automation name as UI automator two, then it might fail. Okay. And you can add some, you can add some, um, timeout command timeout, like how much time APM should wait until object is displayed. And you can also do that. So give me a second eclipse got hang. Yeah. Dot and you can look for command yeah timeout so we can wait around 14 seconds because um, app is fast but problem here is in my machine there is a recording software to record this video there is emulator there is eclipse android studio so many things are open right so that makes system little slow and it might take a little few seconds more when it is rendering on emulator because of the occupied resources in my system. So that's the reason I am putting 14 seconds. Okay. Nice. So we have given correct capabilities that it should invoke this app on emulator hyphen triple five four and command timeout all set. Now let's actually open the app and this is the first page. Now let's grab this edit box. First let's do the positive scenario and then we will see how to do the same with negative validation. Let's do it very quick with the knowledge what all we have um, gained till last section. I will not waste much time here. Obtaining device screenshot. Okay. So perfect. This is the edit box and we have ID for it. So when you have ID, you can simply say driver dot find element by dot ID and pass that ID. And in that edit box, you are trying to send any information like hello. Just say hello. Nice. Next. you want to select female by default male is selected but if you want to go to female um, these are the different attributes you have for female uh, let me actually take xpath this time with this text okay so you know syntax right slash slash attribute at the rate attribute equals to value so driver dot find element by dot xpath you can go with id as well there are ids defined for each and every 
element for your convenience okay it's up to you slash slash uh, at the rate text equals to female dot this is for click earlier method we are actually sending some edit box so we have gone for send kiss now it is click nice what if now after we enter hello manually we are getting this keyboard right so after getting this keyboard and when you want to select radio button this keyboard is actually hiding that so we need to hide this keyboard first to view other elements for that you have a method in appium called driver dot hide keyboard if you do that if there is any active keyboards open it will close it and then you enter radio button now it's time to select drop down this is little interesting and tricky first you need to click on this manually and then this pop up opens right so step one is to click on this box so go and yeah this is the id so first of all let's write a step to actually click after when you open it by default it will be like this so antarctica is not present in your view so what you need to do you need to scroll to the text of antarctica right so how will you scroll we have already discussed one scroll method if you remember go back to scrolling demo dot java there i have explained you how to handle scroll isn't it so i'll take that so if you are not aware of how to scroll in appium um, please refer to that lecture because i have clearly explained how to scroll there so select the text where you want to view here um, in our example we are targeting to move to Argentina. Shall we give this? Okay. Argentina. Right. So this step will scroll until Argentina text is displayed. So now what after that text is displayed? What we should do? We should click on it, isn't it? So you will try to find your desired option by scrolling with this step. So after scrolling stops at this point, you need to click. So do we have, no, we don't have. Let me take the screenshot again so that we will get the objects of selecting that Argentina. And then you can simply click on this. Yeah, this one. So this is the text. Perfect. Now you can write X path just like how we have written here. Oh, star should come after slash slash. Either if you know tag name, give it here or just put star. So star text equals to Argentina. If you try to give this step without giving scrolling step, test will fail because that's not in the viewable mode you are moving to that viewable mode with this step of scrolling and then once it is visible you are trying to click that argentina in your drop down so that's how you select this drop down and one important thing these days the scrolling step is little flaky this is working in some operating systems and i'm not sure it's not working in some other operating systems i mean versions android version so there is one more step actually which will work for sure if this does not work okay um, it's also similar to the same step but just a little complicated all right so this is the step and what all you need to do is to provide that argentina here okay so string contain text 
you can put any text here and that's it this also will scroll just like how this step does but if you don't feel that step number 22 is not working for you then in the same lecture download the code I have attached in my resources tab from that code try to comment line number 22 and uncomment line number 23 and see if that works okay so this is working for me and for most of the people for 80 percent of the people the scrolling step will works but if you feel that it's not working then this is an alternate step okay it's up to you i will attach this code to this lecture and if it don't work you can swipe swap with 23 step okay perfect we have selected drop down as well and what else is left we just need to click on that let's shop button and that's it we will be done with completing the form details okay so let me go to the let's oh, sorry i need to take the screenshot again and with that our first form filling will be completed let's shop and we have id for this and that's it take the id driver dot find element by dot id provide that and click that's all you need to do let's run this test make sure your appm server is started okay so yeah it started now just run this test and then you should see the form completion hopefully we have not made any mistake let's see how it goes let's read the server logs and keep the emulator in parallel we have given name radio button drop down button almost we have touched all the basic ui of the form except checkbox i guess checkbox is in the last step of this app and we will do that as well don't worry okay so app is successfully opened which is great hello it have entered in the edit box female it clicked it opened the drop down now it's trying to scroll to argentina perfect it clicked on argentina and it clicked on let's shop button that's it we have successfully completed filling the form with all the radio button edit boxes drop downs and buttons which is great so in the next lecture let's see the negative scenario of error messages if we skip writing something in edit box and see how we will handle those toast messages using appium okay thank you